Mm -hmm. It looks like a very light coffee to me. I should have added another capsule, but it's fine. It's fine. Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another video. Are you subscribed? I feel like I'm gonna start all my videos like that. Uh, I would love it if you would subscribe to the channel. This is the Jessica Tleho JK fam and we'd love to have you here. Um, and I know that for a lot of you, you were brought to this video because of the title down below, which is feeling like you're not good enough. And this is really, really important uh, for us to have this kind of conversation. But not only that, I feel like I'm here to give you some pointers of what you can do on days where you feel like you're not good enough. And this happens quite a lot. So before we get into the video, it's good to have you here. I hope you are well. Thank you for coming to my channel. And I would love it if you would subscribe and click the notification bell. And so that you will know every time I upload, we're on the road to 25K for the end of this year but also 30K soon, soon, soon after that. I would really love it if you would help me get there. It would mean so much to me. And also repost and reshare this video, whether it's on Twitter, on TikTok, on Instagram, wherever you wanna reshare and repost it. It really does help me a lot and it helps get me out there. Not only that, please also like this video because that puts me out there as well. So let's get into the video. So this is a very important video that I feel like we need to talk about. Um, do you ever go through points in your life where you just don't feel good enough? You don't feel good enough as a child. You don't feel good enough as a parent. You don't feel good enough as a colleague, as a worker. You don't feel good enough as a lover, as a partner. We all go through points where we just don't feel good enough. There are certain times and spaces in our lives where we go through these moments where we just don't feel like we're cutting it quite much. And a lot of the time, it's us really just being really, really hard on ourselves. And you know what's crazy to me is the fact that we look at other people. We look at other people and their lives and the lives that they live and we think, wow, she's great, bro. Like, she's doing so well for herself. Why can't I cut it? What's, what's wrong with me? Like, what am I missing? What is this X factor thing that is missing in me to become a good partner or to become a good parent, child, um, colleague, CEO, worker, whatever. We look at other people and we think, she is getting it right or he is getting it right what am i not getting right and it's funny how we are always hardest on ourselves we're so hard on ourselves but no please don't ever criticize somebody else and feel like they're not good enough because it's 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 not it's not for you to criticize them so rather criticize yourself it's a human nature thing to do where you would rather be the hardest on yourself than be hard on someone else and 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 i get that I'm here for that chat that we are always hardest on ourselves uh, because we just feel like it's not our place to be hard on somebody else. And it isn't, it isn't. But what gives us this thing that we have in us where we feel like, I don't know, bro. I don't know. What is it about me that doesn't make me a good enough girlfriend? What is it about me that doesn't make me a good enough wife, husband? colleague what what is it where is it that i am lacking and a lot of the time we get into this mind frame into the space where we are so hard on ourselves that we forget we forget about all the other good things that are actually happening in our lives we forget about all the other blessings that have been bestowed upon us by god by our family by our parents we forget about all the other great relationships that we have with our friends with our family members with our partners with we forget about all the other good things that are happening in our lives because we zero in and we hone in on all the stuff that isn't happening Right. So you are looking, we live in a, in, in a social media age, right? Where you're looking at what someone has and why you don't have it. 
what someone is, uh, what they look like, what their body looks like, and why your body doesn't look like that. Why am I not cutting it when it comes to, you know, meeting the, 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 the social standards of what beauty is? Why am I not cutting it when it comes to getting promoted at work? What's wrong? Because I'm there. I'm, I'm, I'm there every day. I'm giving all I can to the job. Why? Why am I being bypassed all the time? And we sit and we wallow in these thoughts and these feelings that make us tap into parts of ourselves that are full of self-loathing and make us tap into parts of ourselves that question our self-worth as a person to ourselves, not only to ourselves, but to our parents, to our children, to our partners, to our friends, colleagues, anything. We start questioning bits and pieces of ourselves where we're just like, why? Why can't I just get it right? Do you ever go through moments where you feel that way? Not feeling good about ourselves often comes from the place where we put so much judgment on ourselves. So you're sitting there thinking, well, am I not cutting it in YouTube because I am not talking about this or I don't look like this or I don't have a weave, I, I have natural hair, I'm not as appealing to what society would deem appealing to be. Um, and is it because of my body size? Is it because of my complexion? Is it because I'm dark that I'm not making it in YouTube or is it because I'm dark that my family is outcasting me and treating me like the black sheep of the family? Is it because I am not fun and I'm an introvert that my friends don't, they always bypass me when they want to go out? What is it about me? We're always constantly judging ourselves. Feeling not good enough comes from intense judgment of yourself and who you are because you always see something as better. It happens to the most of us. It happens to a lot of us where even somebody who is a CEO of a multinational, multi-million dollar conglomerate business gets to a point where they don't feel like they're good enough. So it's not just you, a student, young, impressionable, all of that. It's not just you that feels like you're not good enough. It happens to the most of us. Remember, I, on days where you feel like you're not good enough, remember, it's what you're thinking in that time, in that present moment. And it is not what your reality is. Do you understand what I'm saying? So it's always a point where you're thinking, well, you know what, I'm not good enough. It's what you're thinking. Is it actually what really is? No. Often a lot of the time, no, it's not. You are allowing yourself to be so consumed with thoughts of self-loathing, self-worth, and you're allowed to feel that way, sure. But is it what your reality is? What about all the people that are in your life that feel like you're more than good enough? You're, you're not just, just good enough. You're more than that. What about those people? Do you forget about those people? Remember in days where you, you think, man, I'm not good enough. Remember that that's, that's, that's what you're thinking. That's what's in here. That's not what's here. That's not what you're going through each and every single day. That's not what your reality is. And you're allowed to feel the way you feel, but always bring yourself back to that one thing. It's what I'm thinking, and it's not my reality. Your mistakes or your personality traits do not define who you are, right? Think about it. Think about it while I take a sip. Just stir my coffee real quick. Your mistakes or your personality traits, whatever traits that you have, do not define who you are at your core. So everybody makes mistakes. We need to get to a point where you're like, you know, yeah, yeah, that was a fumble on my part. Everybody makes mistakes. Everybody has certain personality traits or characteristics within them that are not, let's be honest, they're not the best, okay? Everybody has those things within them. We make those mistakes instead of, you know, we make a mistake regarding our kids. We make a mistake regarding our parents. We make a mistake regarding our friends. We make mistakes each and every single day. That is what classifies us as human beings. Nobody does everything perfectly right. 
So on the days that you don't feel good enough, you need to remind yourself, for, yeah, but yeah, you know what? It was a mistake. I said what I said in a moment of heated anger, but I didn't mean it. That's not who I am. Then you need to know how to rectify that, sure. Rectify that mistake if you can. Or make do on making sure that you do the right thing if you can't, right? But as human beings, we make mistakes and there are personality traits within us that we exhibit and we have every single day that are not the best. I know that for me, for example, I tend to go off when something doesn't go my way, right? I tend to switch off. Maybe if somebody says something mean to me or whatever, or I feel is mean, I tend to switch off so that I can make them feel like, oh, you, okay, all right, cut. But then sometimes you need to sit back and think, they were being constructive in their criticism of me in that time. In that time, in that moment. It doesn't necessarily mean that that's who I am. No, 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 no. But you need to open up yourself to the fact that it isn't who you are. It doesn't define who you are. Your mistakes or the things that you do wrong or your personality traits that are unfavorable don't necessarily define who you are is in those days where you feel like you are not good enough, it's okay to accept kindness, comfort, and warmth from others. You need it. You don't realize that you need it in the time, but you do. Oh, you do. Sis, <clears throat> no man is an island. Let me explain something. No man is an island. All I'm saying is Always remember to accept kindness, warmth, and comfort from those who care about you, especially on days where you feel like you're not good enough because you are good enough for warmth and kindness and comfort. You are good enough to be supported, especially on the days where you feel like, I don't deserve to be supported. You are good enough to, to no, 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 no. You deserve that. You deserve it 110%. So on those days where you feel like you don't deserve it, you do, sister, you do, you do. So accept opening yourself up to warmth and kindness because you need it. Those days are the hardest on you because you're constantly just self-loathing, just self-deprecating behavior, just constantly wondering to myself like, ah, yeah, 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 eh, I'm not worth it, Shem. I'm not worth it. Even me, I'd be mad at myself. Even me, I'd break up with myself. Even me, I'd be, I'd, I'd, I'd be demoted. I would demote myself and whatever. Really? So those days are the days where you're most hardest on yourself. So in those dark days is when you need to let light in. And light comes in, in the form of warmth, kindness, and support. That's how it comes in. That's how light just, it's just like, ah, Bask in the light of the people who support and want to make you okay in, in the best way they know how, in the only way they can know how. Whether it's making you laugh, whether it's taking out to you out for brunch, whether it's just sitting with you on your couch and allowing you to cry. Allow that in because it makes you feel better. It makes you tap into a part of yourself where you're just like, yeah, 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 yeah. It's just a bad day, it's not a bad life. It's just a bad day, it's not a bad life. It's not a bad life. It's just a bad day. It's very important. See how I've switched it around now, but you hear what I'm saying. It's just a bad day. Remember always to live in the here and the now. If you do not, and you're constantly living in your thoughts, it's going to be very hard to dissociate yourself from those constant thoughts of self-loathing and self-deprecating behavior and all of this. It's going to be very hard to dissociate yourself from that. You're going to live in it. So you're constantly going to be living in the past when today's a Tuesday, but you are still living in last week's Saturday. Do you understand what I'm saying? So you constantly have to remind yourself that it's just a bad day, not a bad life. Live in the here and the now, right? So if you want to wallow in that moment, and you, you, you have every right to, everybody needs, everybody needs a point in their life where they can wallow and just be like, 
I don't know, bro. I don't think I can do this, bro. I don't think I... <laughs> I don't think I can. Everybody, everybody needs a moment. Okay? When things are not going the way that you want them to go, everybody needs a moment, and that includes you. But you also have to remember that it's just that moment. You cannot let it consume you to such a point where you just... Nothing else makes sense. This is who I am. I'm not good enough. I'm always losing. I never win. I never da 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 da. You cannot allow yourself to live there. That's the only. That's the only thing. Remind yourself that it's just happening now. Tomorrow is gonna be better. And the last one, which is the easiest one, simplest one, very hard to actually believe, but it's the honest truth. And anybody who's watching this. Thinking, yeah, it is true. It's true. You are enough. If you look in the mirror and you look at yourself and you're like, I'm not going to do Yo, 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 I'm powerful. And you tell yourself that every day it's going to be very hard for somebody else to convince you otherwise. Do you understand what I'm saying? If you've never felt good enough because you didn't feel like you were pretty enough, if you go and you look at yourself in the mirror every single day, and then you just psych yourself up. You become your biggest hype man. Every day, it's going to be very hard. It's going to implant itself in your brain. It's going to be very hard for somebody else to try and convince you otherwise. Somebody else can say, yeah, you ugly, fat, what, 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 what. If you don't see yourself like that, you're, those words are wasted on you. They're wasted on you. If you know how good you are and what you bring to your job, then no matter how many times your boss can shout at you, no matter how many times your boss can say things that can make you feel some type of way, you know what you bring here. <laughs> so, okay, sharp, sharp, okay, okay, I fumbled that little moment there. Yeah, 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 okay, I fumbled it, okay, sharp. But you know your worth, you know what you bring to that position. So your boss might be able to shout at you about that, whatever, but you know what you bring to it. As a friend, you know what you bring to a friendship. So even if your friend can be like, yeah, you are being mean, hey, you are being snacks, hey, you are being this, hey, you are being a bit of a bitch. But they know that on most days, on most days, you're a phenomenal friend. You're great. And not for the day. They're never going to walk away from you. Much like you're never going to walk away from them. If they're a great person, they might see you off sometimes. You might be very mad sometimes at them. But you're not going to walk away from them because you know what I love. Man, I love this girl. Ugh. I love her. But always remember that even for you, you're enough. You bring enough to a relationship, work situation, parent-child situation, whatever. You bring it. You know? And that's all I've got to say. You are enough. Please come back to this video on days where you feel like you're not good enough. Come back to it. Watch it. Take it in. Write notes. Write little post-it stickers. And put them in your bathroom like Mary Jane does. Or put them on your fridge. So that every time you open the fridge to get a snack, then you're like, ah, yeah, I'm that girl. <laughs> All right, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. That's the last of it from me. If you did and this, you feel like this video is gonna help somebody, please send them the link of the video. If you feel like something I said in the video is really profound, which thank you if you do feel that way, but share it so that maybe one day you do not know who's going to be sitting there thinking, yeah, man, I, I don't feel that great today, Shem. Nah, no. You don't know who it's gonna help, right? And if you did enjoy this content, please subscribe and follow the channel. All right? Okay, I'm gonna film a very fun video after this one. So, I'm glad that all the serious videos are finished. I hope you guys have a great day, evening. More importantly, I hope you guys realize that you are good enough and that you have a great life. If you're sitting here and you're watching this video, you have a good life. You're already blessed enough as it is that you're sitting here and watching this video. Okay, I'm gonna go. Have a good one. Click, follow, subscribe, repost, retweet, reshare, whatever it is. And I'll see you in the next video.